Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to Lean and Clean with Fitness Chef Christine. I'm Christine, your host, and we're going to talk about fat loss today and all the things that we need to do to keep moving forward. But you'll know that in September, I challenged everybody to give up sugar. That doesn't mean we have to give up treats though. So today I'm going to make a yummy chocolate treat that I think you're really gonna love. Whether you call it fudge or you call it a chocolate truffle, it is delicious. And it's always good to keep them in the fridge. So what I do is I make them at the time. They're like little truffles. I make them ahead of time and then I pack them in the freezer. So I have a little bit of chocolate with protein anytime I need it. Now, if you've been with me for a while, you know that I advocate for no sugar. So to make that happen, I'm using Good Sam chocolate chips. There's no sugar added, so it does not affect your insulin. It is sweetened with allulose, so it, it doesn't have too much of an effect on your digestive system, um, which sometimes is a problem when you're using things like um, stevia or if you're using monk fruit, sometimes it can really affect your gut. This does not have that same type of effect, in my opinion, at least for my body. So the first thing that we're gonna do is one cup of those Good Sam chocolate chips. And I'm gonna add a teaspoon of coconut oil. Now that's actually optional, but I do find that it melts a little better because if you don't have sugar in your chocolate chips, sometimes they don't melt as well. And so that little bit of fat certainly helps and coconut oil is a good fat that we want to keep up, which is one of my tips. And we wanna make sure we're feeding our brain good fat. And that when we have healthy fat, that helps us in our fat loss journey. So I'm gonna go ahead and melt these. Now you can melt these over a double broiler or you can do them in the microwave. If you're gonna do them in the microwave, do them in about 30 second increments and stir and stir. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and once it's melted, I will come back and we're gonna incorporate that with our Greek yogurt. So let's take a look. Okay, one minute and 20 seconds is all it took for this glorious chocolate to become nice and smooth. Now, when we are incorporating a melted chocolate into cold Greek yogurt, we wanna make sure that we do it a little at a time so that we're not gonna seize up that chocolate. The other thing is we're gonna add a capful of vanilla. Because this is really dark chocolate and has very little sweetener to it, it can be a bit bitter. And so we're going to flavor that up so that we're not getting hit with that bitter flavor and we'll be happy to have that chocolate flavor. The other thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit of zest. So we wanna get that flavor and things that don't add extra calories and this is a perfect way to do it. So I'm just gonna add, this is a zester, and I'm just gonna add some of that great orange zest now, if you, again, if you've been following along, the fruits that we really try to stick to are on the low glycemic level. So berries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, that kind of thing. So that really helps us stay on the lower end of things and we don't get as much of a reaction from that. Okay, so I'm gonna start just by mixing it in and then I'll go ahead and add the rest. So that's just tempering it up, warming up that yogurt so we don't end up with a seized mixture. Okay, so we're gonna add as much of that chocolate in as we can. And then we come in with a mixer. Now I could stir it by hand, but I want it to be nice and fluffy. So I'm gonna go ahead and use our mixer, get all of that. And you'll see it start almost immediately becoming fudgy. little bit of that Greek yogurt flavor. I really like that. So you have to decide how much of it you like, right? You can continue adding extra flavors if you like it. We're just gonna scrape this down. Now you'll see how perfectly fudgy that is. It sticks to the thing. So now we give a little taste. Do we need to adjust anything? For me, this is perfect. Again, you're gonna have that tanginess of, of the yogurt, but you also have the protein from the yogurt, which is something very important as we eat. We want to keep up sufficient protein. Now we're going to use a little tiny cookie scoop. And I love these little cookie scoops because portion control is very important. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on a, a lined pan. I lined it with nonstick foil. You could use parchment paper, but I do find that the foil works nicely. And we just scoop it out. 
And then we can decorate them if we want to. We can take some of that extra melted chocolate and go over top of it, but you don't have to. You could actually stir in some crushed berries. You can, you, there's many ways that you can keep this dessert yummy. But I like to keep it simple, which brings me to my other point. Keeping your meals simple will keep you on track. You don't have to eat different things all week long. It's better for you if you eat the same thing, the same breakfast every day, the same lunch every day, and the same dinner every day for a week, and then you change it up. We've talked about this before. That helps keep your macros on track so you already know and you don't have to keep logging things in and laboring it out, what should I have? It takes away all that food noise. So you don't have to keep thinking about what am I going to eat today? What should I have? You already know. And it really makes it more efficient because you already know what you're going to get when you go shopping. So today when I went to the store, I made sure that I get quite a few steaks and quite a few ground beef because I know that's what I'm going to eat. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'll eat the same thing. And then Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, it's the same thing. And we usually have a bigger meal on Sundays. In addition to that, we do a challenge every month in my free group. And I'll link the free group down below if you'd like to join us. But last month, as I mentioned, we did the No Sugar September. Every single person that did that had great results. They all lost weight, lost inches, felt healthier. The first week was a little brutal. You had some headaches, but then you get over it. And that just goes to show you how much we need to detox, getting rid of sugar in our lives. And sugar hides in many forms. You'd be surprised if you start looking at labels where that sugar can hide in all of its different forms. Maybe it says high fructose corn syrup. It's still a sugar. I would even consider things like honey. It still elevates your blood sugar. So you want to be aware of all the things that are in there so that you can negate all the effects of that. It does take a week or two for your body to get with the program, but you could actually lose five pounds in a week. If you just cut out sugar, it will cut off all the cravings and then your body levels out. So I encourage you to, to take that first step and do that. This month's challenge then is for us to have two larger meals with a good amount of protein. And when I say good, 30 grams or more with sufficient vegetables, because we want to keep that fiber level up, right? And then, for those two meals, that's what you're gonna do. So I pick breakfast and lunch, and then dinner is my smaller meal. I still get that protein in there, but I'll keep it a little bit smaller and keep it as a soup. It, the soup will keep us full, but we don't really need all the fuel because we're winding down and going to bed. And I don't wanna to go to bed on a full stomach. And I would rather save the calories for earlier in the day when I know my body needs them to keep running and doing stuff. So. We're choosing to have smaller meals. That's gonna put us in calorie deficit. It's gonna keep us there without any pain of being hangry because I don't know about you, but I actually like to eat and I wanna eat what I wanna eat when I wanna eat it. But there has to be some give and take there. So this makes it easy for me. The soup is delicious. It's fiber filled. It has good protein and it keeps me full all night. So there's not a problem. My goal then is for everybody to have breakfast, lunch, dinner, with no need to snack in between because you're absolutely full. Now, if you feel like you're hungry, then you have a protein snack and you're still good. By doing this, we regulate our blood sugar, keeping our insulin level from going up and down like a crazy meter. And it really makes you feel energized and feel good about yourself. And then, because you're not on a sugar crazy train, you will sleep better. And sleep is a great method for keeping fat loss working. Because when we sleep, our body can retune itself and we get rid of even more sugar cravings and more hunger cravings because our body is more level. And it also helps us to reduce cortisol. When our body is more relaxed, then we are able to have those hormones regulate and our leptin and our ghrelin, those are our hunger hormones, tend to level out. In addition, we wanna keep our bodies moving because that is going to help us keep our cortisol level. So you can see this all works together. It's not just one little thing, but let me just go over this one more time. First thing, we're going to give up our sugar. Second thing we're going to do is have good protein meals, 30 grams or more per meal, keeping one meal smaller than the other ones. Now, maybe you are an active person lunchtime and dinner time, and you're not real active in the morning. Then you would pick your morning as the lesser of the three meals. 
Some people like to do fasting for those meals. That's okay, but you still have to get the nutrients in there. Otherwise you're not really, you wanna be moving. We, we are all about fueling our bodies here. So we wanna make sure we're also having healthy fats. I forgot to mention that, but that coconut oil has brought that up. We wanna have those healthy fats because we wanna feed our brain and healthy fats, help us feel satiated and help us with our fat loss. We talked about sleep management. We wanna make sure that sleep and stress go together. The more, the lack of sleep you have, the more you cannot control your stress levels. The more stress you have, the more, the more hormonal disruption you have, the harder it is to lose fat. Let's talk about some gut health. Again, if you've been around for a while, I am a big proponent of fermented foods, right? Your kimchi, your krauts, your dill pickles, all that good stuff is make sure it makes for a happy gut. I have a very sensitive gut. For me, that's extremely important. And I eat dill pickles all the time. That is what my go-to is, especially for my, my leg cramps. One thing we, met, we met, touched on earlier was the fact that I eat every day the same for about five days in a row, and then I change it up. Yes, I'm a chef, and yes, I love to create things, but what I don't love is the anxiety that trying to come up with new things every minute of every day because then I obsess over them. Ooh, maybe I can make a sauteed meal with this sauce or maybe I can make this dessert or maybe I can make this new bread. And it becomes an obsession and all I want to do is eat. But knowing what I'm gonna have ahead of time helps me to balance that out. Now, lastly is mindful eating. So I made all these, now I have a choice. I could pop them all in my mouth all the time and, and without even thinking about it. And believe me, I did that for years. Honestly, I didn't, I couldn't figure out why I weighed what I weighed when I didn't really eat. But in fact, all of my snacking all day long, a bite of bread, a piece of muffin as I baked, because I used to a bakery, really packed on pounds. Now, when I was super busy and I was moving 50 pound bags of flour here and there, it wasn't such a big deal. But when things slowed down, that's when the weight piled on. I was in perimenopause and boy, oh boy, did it pile on. But I set a goal to lose 50 pounds and these are the ways that I did that. I don't wanna give up all the treats that I love, but I knew something had to give. So I went for sugar-free desserts and sourdough breads instead of the traditional ones. And that made all of the difference. And really concentrating on getting good, great protein in. And even now I'm getting more protein in than I was before because I still have that little that little role that I don't love. And we all have those things that we don't love in our bodies. But I wanna remind you to love your body. Do this because you love your body, because it moves for us and it works with us and it's a blessing, right? It's a blessing. Who cares if you have dimpled legs and whatever? They work for us, they move our bodies. We are so blessed to have them. We don't have to look perfect. We just wanna move forward in our journey. So I'm here with you on this journey. I hope that you'll join my group because we have a fun bunch of ladies. And I, I also have a recipe group where you can get my recipes. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And if you have, I hope that you'll subscribe because it is free. And I upload every Sunday and Wednesday, unless I don't have, unless storms come through and I don't have internet, but I do, it's back and we're happy. Just feeling so, so blessed. So I, I pray for each and every one of you that every day brings new health benefits to you. And I thank you so much for being here. Leave a comment, leave a question. Just, I love your interaction. All right, my friends, I will see you again on Sunday.